We'll watch it through and then I'll get my thoughts. I could try to leave. That was him, right? You paid the ultimate price, bitch. All right. Your life. That's the Both hell yeah. He, he got uh. He killed all three of the extract in pursuit. I think it was a three piece. I'm pretty sure when he went to look to see if it was a third body over there. It's the extract is Emercom, notoriously extract camp extract like notorious. It's it's there's only one that's worse and that's D2 on reserve. D2 and Emercom has so, have so many extra campers at it. So if you're going there, just be on high, high alert. But he's rocking a nump, unsuppressed. Uh, probably FMJ ammo is my guess. It's a great early wipe weapon. It's probably S tier as far as early wipe because the affordability, you can get the ammo cheap and, and very early. Um, and the performance on it's pretty solid. And so as far as early wipe weapons or budget weapons go, the humps, it's S tier. It's really good. So it's a great weapon to, to go against him with. But first spray on him, great. Hit, hit fired it, took him out. I thought this was pretty funny here. Whenever he goes to check the body and here, here's the other guy unprone. Look at Summit's face. Right. He goes to look at chat for a second and then immediately like looks back and gets uh, bug eyed. He's like, oh shit. Dominates the second guy. So right there, he, he's scanning good spots. Um, I'm not sure if he saw someone off to the right, but since this guy was in the bush and he heard the guy unprone and is in the bush here and didn't hear any movement after, his eyes need to be trained like right here. That And he, he ended up getting the guy. But teammates in the bush, the second teammate's likely to be in a bush, right? Uh, he heard him unprone and heard the bush noise. So that should have been his main focus, but he could have seen something off to the right. And it's not bad to scan both sides. Um, especially if he's not 100% sure on where the guy prone, because that's a long bush. It goes from over here to over here. So it could have been um, anywhere, really. Good shots on the first guy. Pushes over. Here's another bush sound just now. So he knows there's he knows there's a third. Here's a move off to the right. If, if I was if I was summit right now, I'd be like, this motherfucker's trying to get out to the get in the extract and leave because I just shit on his two teammates. I'm killing him. Somebody goes to push. The guy's flashlight on. Someone mows him down. Um, right there, someone has his laser on, so his hit fire's got the bonus, but I probably would have thrown the flashlight on on a push just because someone has a left-hand peak against the guy's right-hand peak. So, and, I mean, the guy had the flashlight on. We didn't know that until Summit went around the corner, but uh, the right-hand peak versus left-hand peak is the right-hand peak's going to see the person first. And so having a flashlight on when you're having to do a left-hand peak is, is an equalizer, if you will. And so overall, he played it phenomenally. Uh, get shit on extract campers. Good shit, Summit. That's that's a good feeling. But overall, very fun clip to watch. I'm glad this glad uh, Stein sent me this. Summit's a beast. He's actually the first person I've I've I watched play Tarkov. He was the person that got me to play Tarkov. I was like, no shot. Tarkov's giving away cryptocurrency or drops on Twitch. Like you can watch Twitch and just get five hundred thousand dollars like that. I was like, well, sign me up. And I immediately went to Twitch and started watching. His summit was playing. He had drops going that day, and he was on interchange and was up in the rafters uh, fighting a four-man group or a five-man group. One of the two. Uh, he was fighting a team. He was fighting a group, and he shit on them. It was, it, like, killed them all. It was an intense battle, too. They were, like, walking around under him trying to look for him, and they couldn't find him. He had a suppressed weapon. Uh... And the last, like the last two guys ended up spotting him and he had to maneuver and dude, it, it was nutty, uh, intense. And I was like, holy shit, this game looks sick. Like you can roam around a mall and the mall, like interchange is super immersive. Uh, and so I was like, you know, 
sign me up. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, get this game. I quickly found out that they weren't giving away cryptocurrency. It was an in-game item. <laughs> they weren't actually giving away real Bitcoin, but still made me, you know, made me check out the game. And I got it on a Thursday, and I had that Friday and that um, Monday off from school, and so or off from work, not school, but off from work. And so I was like, yo, got the game, perfect timing, fell in love with it. I played so, so, so much that weekend. No life did that weekend. Yeah, so when I was first playing, I joined like two months into wipe and I didn't want to, um, or like a month and a half into wipe. I, didn't, I was like, okay, I don't wanna have to worry about questing. I'll do that next wipe. This wipe, I'm just gonna get the PVP mechanics down. And so, I was fo solely focused on PVP. And back then there wasn't a found in raid status. So like as soon as you hit level five, you got the flea market and you could buy anything and everything off the flea market. Meta weapons, meta gear, meta ammo, didn't matter, you could buy everything. And so I was like, okay, we'll just, we'll focus on PVP. Got my level five, you know, had, had a friend that was already a veteran at the game. So he was able to uh, guide me a little bit, but I, didn't upgrade my hideout at all. I didn't even unlock Jaeger. I didn't play Woods once my first wipe. I played Labs and Streets. That was it. Labs and Streets. Um, that's my main maps. But the other maps I tried like once or twice. But yeah, Woods I, I didn't play once. Either way, I didn't upgrade my hideout at all. Including the workbench until like... I don't know. A month and a half left to wipe. Two months left to wipe. And so for the first bit of me playing, I didn't have edit weapon preset. And so I knew how to build customs, not streets, customs. Yeah, I, I played customs in labs, not streets, sorry. Uh, customs and labs as my only two maps, my two main maps. But I didn't know how to build guns. I, I didn't have that edit, um, edit weapon preset, which makes building weapons a trillion times easier. And so I knew, I knew how to build one AK gun and that's I would either use other players' weapons or I would build that weapon. I knew what items I needed to buy. It was not a good build either. Um, I knew what items I needed to buy off the flea, and I would just buy those those items and I'd put them on the gun. Like that's that's the only gun I'd run, <laughs> unless I got a gun off another player. And I I did quite often have other players' guns. But yeah, my first swipe was when I first tried to build an, an M4. I spent like an hour and a half trying to figure out how to build it and I couldn't figure out what weapon attachment went with what and why it wasn't allowing me to uh, have it operatable. It was constantly red. I was like, I don't know what I'm missing here or what I need. And there wasn't any like YouTube videos over it either. It, it like went in detail about builds and what you needed. There's, there's just so much customization. And so, yeah, I spent an hour and a half trying to figure it out. And I ended up giving up and just went back to the AK build. <laughs> I was missing the gas block 100%. Yeah. Yep. Oh. What's car batteries going for? And also, uh, since I didn't have edit weapon preset, I, I would have to go and buy an, an item to see if it, if it would work and if it would be the problem solver. And so I spent a lot of rubles trying to figure out what the fuck I needed to put on my gun. Surprise! 